Hello and welcome to You've Seen It Before, movie reviews with connections in mind, and welcome back to my reaction series to each and every episode of Season 2 of The Orville. Now, if you're new to this series, it's just my short-form video series that I just give my brief thoughts on each episode as they come out, as well as some brief analysis on pl plot developments and character arcs uh, that seem familiar and where you may have seen them before. So, with all that said, and without further ado, let's get into Season 2, Episode 7 of The Orville, entitled Deflectors. Now, this episode focuses on the relationship between Lieutenant Keali and a Mocklin uh, engineer by the name of Lokar, who, quite contrary to the Mocklin way of life, is attracted to a female. Since the Mocklin society is an all-male uh, species and they treat females as aberrations in their own culture and they treat uh, Mocklins who are attracted to females as essentially abominations, this presents a, lar a moral quandary for both of these people, especially when it seems that Lokar is murdered and Lieutenant Keale has to investigate this uh, crime and some implications of all this come out as well. Now, this episode feels like it's mainly a combination of two different episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, namely The Outcast and The Emissary. Now, The Emissary is uh, an episode where the, an old flame of Lieutenant Worf's comes aboard the Enterprise, namely Kalar, and they have to deal with the implications of that failed re that initial failed relationship. Uh, when, of course, the parallel in this episode would be the relationship between Lokar and Bordas, who used to be old, uh, an old couple at that point. Uh, but it's mainly a retelling of the outcast, which in The Next Generation, it was about a race of androgynous uh, life uh, species that uh, one of them decide, uh, feels that she is, in fact, uh, exhibiting more female characteristics and is attracted to Commander Riker. And Riker in decides he wants to uh, express these feelings uh, for uh, for her, uh, and, but her society, uh, but this uh, alien society uh, views this as a definite no go, and uh, moral implications and societal conflict arises from that. Uh, finally, there was just another uh, brief uh, parallel between an episode of Star Trek Voyager in this episode, namely uh, the fact that in this episode, the main piece of evidence that shows that uh, Lokar was murdered is that on the simulator, there is a uh, playback option, and it shows that uh, a simulation of um, Clyden is shown with a holographic weapon killing uh, Lokar, but initially the image is very distorted and they're unable to figure out who it is until the right time. Um, this is similar in a way to an episode of Voyager called um, uh, Repression from the seventh season in which a crime is committed on the holodeck, namely an assault on a member, a Maquis crew member. And there's a uh, after image left uh, in the holodeck that shows the perpetrator uh, as a brief uh, outline, but you can't get a distinct features, but it's revealed later that the uh, perpetrator was in fact uh, Commander Tuvok, but uh, that one was only revealed later. So a tenuous connection, but a uh, interesting parallel nonetheless. But overall, I'd say this episode was definitely a uh, thinker of an episode and definitely a heart-wrenching episode as well, uh, especially relevant given the current times of um, the fact that the society seems to be uh, more, uh, the society today in the United States seems to be at least more accepting of the gay community, um, uh, how this is, can be seen as a parallel between uh, as uh, far as way as uh, between how we as society treat the gay uh, uh, the gay community um, when or any community that does not follow the nor uh, the societal norm 
And obviously an episode of Next Generation did this uh, prior, but this episode uh, tells it in a different spin on things, but also puts that emphasis more on how the societal really reaction to this individual can cause havoc even when that uh, initial person has done essentially nothing wrong in in our eyes. Now, this uh, this episode really uh, delves into that, especially with uh, uh, Clyden's uh, prejudice, which is addressed at the end of the episode, and how that affected Lokar and uh, Lieutenant Kelly. And it was interesting that even though uh, Lieutenant Kelly is a relatively new character in this series, uh, it's surprising to me how much I actually felt that um, I could feel for her in this situation, even though I might not personally be involved in that uh, in that sort of situation, or I may not, I may not even react in the same way as she might have, or the people involved may have. So that's just a testament to how well this episode was written, in my opinion, and how well it was performed. And I liked how, even though there was some uh, humorous elements in this episode, um, they were toned down enough so that we could focus more on the dramatic side of things. And I felt like that was a good choice in this part. So overall, I would say this is definitely an episode that uh, is probably one of the better ones in the uh, in this season so far. Um, uh, not necessarily uh, for... Uh, message wise per se, but um, I'd say definitely, well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's not, let me rephrase that. That is definitely a, uh, it is relevant. It is definitely um, a powerful storytelling and is definitely good craft in this, uh, in this season and, and this episode in particular. So I, uh, I can appreciate it on those grounds. And I definitely think that this is probably one of the stronger episodes of the season. And I'm definitely uh, based on the preview that they showed for next week's episode, I think we're going to be getting back into more of the uh, exploration side of things. Um, if uh, My only complaint about this episode really is the fact that we're once again going back into Mocklin culture, uh, considering that... We've had, it feels like we've had a lot of episodes focusing on uh, Mocklin interpersonal relations and their society in this, uh, in both seasons, really, overall. I mean, percentage wise, it's probably not uh, as big as I think, but it certainly feels like that. So it, does, uh, it felt like that was one, uh, it turned out better than I thought but when I initially saw the episode and uh, when it first uh, indicated that it was going to be about Mocklin, that. I certainly felt like it was like, oh man, again, but it turned out better than I thought. So that's my only major, uh, minor nitpick in this episode. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts. What did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think about my analysis? Did I get anything wrong? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys have been great uh, as viewers. I appreciate whatever audience I can get. Uh, be sure to look for my reaction video for next week's episode of The Orville, as well as my reaction series for each episode of Season 2 of Star Trek Discovery. I've just posted the uh, my reaction to Season 2, Episode 5. Uh, and also, if you're interested, check out my movie reviews on my channel. I've just posted a review of The Lego Movie 2, the second part. So all that's on my channel. Be, uh, please check it out. Uh, if you like my content, subscribe as well. So thank you so much. But just remember, there is nothing new under the sun. And yes, you have seen it before.